I just wanted to show you real quick. Uh, you ever see those little little books that uh, when you look on TV that, that the caddies and the uh, uh, players are, are looking through and you ever want to know what the, one of those look like and what's in one of those? Um, I have mine here from this tournament. So let me uh, flip the camera around here and let's take a quick little look at what, what one looks like here. It's just... Um, Try and get some good lighting here. Uh, it's uh, basically just a little book. Uh, you can see it's got the tour on there, the name of the tournament. Uh, this book is in meters, and it's basically just there's a little legend here in the middle, in the in the front, um, and it's you'll notice it's all hand drawn. And you go. Let's go to the. Let's go to the couple pages in. So basically what you'll see here is these things are all hand drawn. So we'll, let's see, we're looking at the eighth hole here, par 4, 346. Uh, and so you can see here, uh, this is a bit of a tricky hole, it's a par 4, uh, yeah, par 4. Uh, to that, to the end of the fairway there, it's 178. There's the little arrow going back to the tee. And there's a spot, a painted spot on the back of the tee box so that we know from the tee box from that painted spot it's we can't hit any farther than 178 if we don't want to run through that fairway and then from there it's 158 to the front of the green um, so when we get to the tee box and even if they move the, the tee positions around like they move the tees up or they move them back we can just pace off from the tee box um, uh, and, and add or subtract well, I guess basically subtract because the, the number's from the back of the tee box. Subtract from that number to know what it would be to run, to not run through the fairway. So we can make sure we're playing it safe there because this little WH here is a water hazard. So we wanted to, there's a number of ways you can play this hole. You can carry it. Uh, so you can see there's a little 219, 211, 229, 199 and the arrow points back to the tee box. So to reach that point, you have to hit it at least that far. And these numbers are in meters again. Um, so, oh yeah, so there's a, a yellow spot. This is indicative of the, the tee box. So from that, the yellow spot on the tee box to the fairway 158, or 178, and then 158 to the front of the green. And we'll get some uh, pin sheets each day. I don't have any uh, pin sheets handy with me right now. Uh, but it'll say like seven paces on and four from the right. Um, and so what we then say we're at the end of this fairway here and it's seven paces on, we just add 158 plus seven is 165. So to get to that pin, it's 165 from that spot. Uh, and then you can also see these, you know, again, these are all hand drawn. There's, there's some trees to get reach the trees. It's 229 there. And then in the fairways, there are these little things. So like that 62 plus R, there's a painted X, uh, a red X in the middle of the fairway. And that, so when we see that, that's 62. The 87 point Y there, that, uh, the Y is the color, so it's yellow. And then the circ the little dot means it's a circle. So it's a circle about, oh, maybe, uh, 10 inches across or so. So from that yellow spotted circle in the fairway, it's 87 to the front. So it's kind of like sprinkler heads uh, that you see at a lot of courses, but these are, uh, in particular, these are these are painted spots that these guys go around beforehand, before the tournament, and uh, mark these for uh, uh, the players. WH over there is a water hazard. Uh, there's a bunker. And then we get to the green up here. And the greens are marked pretty good. This is kind of cool. So uh, you can see from the little uh, lines there the slope of the green. And we may, I may, when we go and hand draw, like I'll go around later today and maybe draw a little arrows, which direction in those points. So say, you know, uh, that front of the, say from the middle to the front, it slopes towards the front. So the, the place to miss there, you don't want to miss over to the left in that bunker. 
So maybe you want to miss a little short and right. So you can kind of tell by looking at this book where you want to hit. And then say there's the that four. So it, from the front of the green, that like walking straight through the green, the front of that bunker starts at four and the back of the bunker is at 11. And then to carry that little mound, it's 15. So if we're going to go towards, if there's a back left pin, we need to we know that we need to carry it at least 11 from that number to the front to carry that bunker. So I mean, you can use these, and then the back there to the back of the green is 26, and these these green numbers are in paces, so it's not meters or yards. So it's kind of subjected to just uh, a person's steps, but they're they're, they're roughly. Uh, you can get a rough idea of where you want to go from here. Uh, so that's what those look like. And that you'll notice there on the bottom, the bottom is hand drawn and then the, the top is blank. And that's where they, they keep the top blank there so you can take your own little personal notes. So like you can say like, you know, you can draw di different holes, uh, different courses play different distances. Uh, and then different holes on the same course might play different. So say you, this is uphill and from, you know, let's say for example, you, from the 107 you would hit a pitching wedge, but because it's so far uphill, that pitching wedge would only go 90. So you can write on the top of the thing there that from the 107 marker, a full pitching wedge goes 90. So we, we have to... You know, we play a lot of different courses. We don't have the advantage of like having these be home courses. So when we come to a course, we have to figure out really quickly where the the safe safe places to be and how far the clubs go. Because uh, I remember from like on the PGA Tour, like I've I've checked the average driving distance. Say the average driving distance for the whole season for the tour is about 287 yards. Uh, but if you go to a place like Pebble Beach, the average distance is going to be 260, where it's at sea level and the, the fairways are moist. So, uh, and then you go to uh, another course. I remember some of them, the, the field, field average was 299. So, depending on the course you play, uh, there's going to be some uh, dramatic, uh, eh, not dramatic, but there's going to be differences in how far the ball flies. So when we come onto a course here, We'll use that top section to write like, uh, and to write how far our clubs go at this course, and then on specific holes where there's uphill or downhill or wind or, you know, sometimes there's there's ones that say this but it plays longer for some reason, some mysterious reason, unexplainable, and then sometimes it plays shorter for some strange reason. So that area is just for those kind of notes, and really just any kind of notes that you want to do. So that's really all that's in here, um, each of the the holes is is basically this, the same kind of thing here. So here's the uh, 18th hole, or what is that, 16th hole. Oh, this is a little short par four, uh, but this is kind of a strategy hole. So there's, uh, you can see the arrows, and really cool. They're all hand drawn, um, and uh, so this is what these things look like. And this is what, when you see on TV, what the, the uh, tour guys are uh, and their caddies are looking at.